if we look at the Microsoft products that cover MDM, they, they don't really have much. It's There's a product called Master Data Services that is sort of not recommended anymore, I would say. And, and there's another one called DQS for data cleaning that's also not recommended anymore. So we lean on a lot of partners when we, ref, we when we talk about Master Data Management with customers and Prophecy being the one that I recommend uh, it, it just really all the time on there. And when I look... Cheers, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate uh, that. And it's, <laughs> I won't go into the history about how Prophecy came around, but they have a, re a great relationship with Microsoft and work very closely understanding what Microsoft is doing so they can integrate better with them like they're doing now with Prophecy and Azure Synapse Analytics and Azure Data Factory. And so you, I look for some of that synergy and Prophecy has that. And then you look for a solution that is a PaaS solution or very close to being a PaaS solution what Prophecy has now. So when I recommend something to customers, I'm I'm doing it that is going to shortcut the process of them building out solutions and making it much easier for them if they are in the Microsoft world, because that's what I deal with. And so it's it's like that with a lot of Microsoft uh, uh, situations where we they, Microsoft does not have a product for every different situation. So we look at filling those gaps through Microsoft partners, Prophecy being one of them. And Prophecy's always been really good at with customers. I recommend giving them demos and, and making them see the value in the product. And then I feel good too, because I'm recommending Microsoft products, but other third party products. And I want to make sure they're successful or else the customer comes and come back to, to me and say, well, why did you recommend this? So that's why I've always dealt with my, uh, Prophecy for a very long time because of the success I've had with customers at Microsoft implementing it, as well as before I came to Microsoft, having built a few solutions with Prophecy. Well, that's that's great to hear. Now, before we turn to to uh, Neil for the cold hard truth of how hard it really is to implement, what what is your experience, James, on uh, some of the the common problems that people have uh, when they're trying to deploy MDM into Azure, or, or yeah, the, the, any of the logistical or, or practical issues that, that people tend to uh, to encounter? I find the biggest problem is not the technology, but the people in the process. And it, mm -hmm. it, that's what massive data management is with cleaning it. Customers, and they will come to me for help with designing, building a center of excellence and defining the roles and responsibility for everybody. Because it can get pretty muddy when you're dealing with multiple company, multiple within your organization, many organ, company, many different groups who, who feel like they own the data. And so when you go and say, well, who should be cleaning the data? Who do we ask questions to? You can have these big arguments within a company on that. So that is a political nightmare sometimes that I'm sure Prophecy has dealt with many times in there. So <laughs> my conversation with customers is the technology is the easy part is let's talk about who's going to do the solving and cleaning and who's responsible. Because when you pull data into a enterprise data warehouse and you clean the data well, and you master it, does that mean you should go back to the source system and, and clean it there too? And so you have many yeah. arguments and many difficulties with that. And then what's the single source of the truth then? What, uh, who, who's going who's gonna to define all that? Who's the final say in that? So I, I don't deal with that much anymore. I just tell customers they got to deal, deal with it. And, and I'm sure Prophecy has a lot of use cases on that. But to me, it's at least getting them to understand uh, giving them a heads up that this is going to be more than just a technology discussion. It's going to be that people and process discussion. 